you so much. Says. Solar and wind farms 
and some technical and service companies in the sector build the lens for the police FUTP disease investment. Obviously, Obviously, PEDC is looking for any proposal and or offer from licensors and financiers to share the benefit of these projects or starting new projects. Mr. Ramazan Gur, the beauty of downstream is here to have a great meeting on these topics. So let's go back to the mesh island and have a look at PEDC projects and active plans in this island. As it can be seen, PDCs are involved in the downstream and energy section of the island development plan. Parts making is heavy crude oil refinery by a capacity of 70,000 barrels per day. Jolly Energy is a 60,000 barrels per day condensate refinery. And Harold Terminal is a fully dedicated of these two refineries for providing feed and product shipping services. And Ash Mualet. Uh, five, uh, 500 megawatts power plant is responsible for utility providing including electricity, MP and LPS scheme and water. As I mentioned in the previous slides, experts in PEDC are investigating, investigating to start a 300,000 barrel per day heavy crude oil refinery which makes this area as oil and energy city of Osorgot. It's the name that you will hear in the new near future. In the last part of the presentation, I showed the process of the first phase of the first phase of the ash refinery. It's for the first time in Iran, which a heavy crude oil by API less than 20 is refined, and bitumen produced directly without production of VB vacuum bottom or needing to aeration system. And I want to emphasize on the other valuable product, which is called LFS for light. Feed a sock. This light cart consists of naphtha, crossen, gas oil, and VGO, and had not been produced in Iran in the past. In the first phase, in the first phase, 35,000 barrels per day are refined, and almost 50% of the feed converted to bitumen directly. In the second phase, the capacity of refinery will be doubled. We can offer the between in three grades and in barrel of bulk from Ash Island. About the LFS, which is a valuable feed for FCC, FCC and or which can be used for AD units, atmospheric insulation towers, we offer it in bulk. Our bitumen production is not related to the vacuum water supplied by the main refineries. It's a key important uh, point. That is the main, main difference of Hospehim with other uh, bitumen refineries in Iran. Uh, they are involved in the competition of vacuum bottom uh, that is supplied by the uh, modern refineries uh, through IME or Bursa Kala. But we purchase crude oil from oil ministry and produce bitumen directly. So we are not involved in the vacuum bottom uh, supply and demand or competition. Since according to the PDA unit in your own company, and much more important, the RHT unit in S1 refinery, which is going to be operated, the supply of vacuum bottom in Iran will be constrained. And it's, a, and it's an important limitation that any traders who work on the bitumen of Iran Consider. So we hope our bitumen can get a considerable market share. Thank you. Thank you all for listening. It was a pleasure being here to.